safe, parents will be safe, and we have everything worked out for the Jamboree. Memphis Shelby County school leaders strike a deal, avoiding a walkout of school resource officers just days before the district's big football jamboree. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Stephanie Skurlock. And I'm Greg Hurst. They're working it out and that's not all. In fact, today's committee meeting detailed some new developments for Whitehaven's long overdue STEM lab. WRG's Bryant Didlake was at that meeting and has the breakdown. I there myself on all three days to address any issues that may a newly minted MSC as safety director George Harris reassuring the public this week's high school jamboree will be safe. The district agreed to raise the starting pay to $25 an hour, a $2 an hour increase. This scene still playing out in board members' minds from last year's MSCS Jamboree where fights broke out, shots were fired, and several arrests were made. They hope to avoid chaos like this and keep students safe while addressing the officers' pay and safety concerns. We need to make sure we address their concerns fully. Dr. Marie Fagan says it'll take more time to consider other requests from school resource officers. We are at about 64 more officers that we need. That places us at about $6.3 million, I believe, in terms of a funding gap. Additional $4 million that we would need to sustain that over the next few years. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Shelby County Board of Education hereby approves the fiscal year 2024-2025 amended budget. Also on the agenda, a state-of-the-art STEM lab promised to Whitehaven High School, the district approving additional funding to make it happen. We have been in support of that since day one. Superintendent Fagan saying there will be no more delays. I will place that in writing as a commitment. In Memphis, Brian Ditlake for your news leader, WREG News Channel 3.